I'm joined over Skype with Primetime Local News' sports guy, Evan Kenny. Evan, tell me what's the latest going on with COVID-19 when it comes to the sports world? Well, Abby, things are not getting better. A couple weeks ago, we saw the NHL and the NBA cancel their seasons. And the most recently, we've seen Wimbledon, the oldest tennis major, postpone for the first time since World War II. So you know when one of the oldest majors for any sport, but the oldest major for tennis uh, is being postponed, things are not good. They're just keeping heading in that spiral down. Um, in the NHL, four Ottawa Senators players have tested positive to add on to three players that had previously been tested and been positive as well. So people are still continuing to get it and it doesn't look uh, too great for any of the major sports. Now, uh, you're saying we have been going on this downward, downward spiral. Uh, has, has the leagues been talking about getting back into action or what their plans are for the next couple of months, um, especially for playoffs uh, for the certain sports that are um, needing to go into playoffs shortly? Well, they've been talking about it, but nothing has been cemented yet, so nothing official. Uh, the NHL day by day, the NHLPA and the owners of the league uh, are in talks, so that's ongoing. As well, uh, the CFL, who hasn't even started yet, is most likely going to be postponing the start of their season. They've already postponed their training camps, so there's a whole nother step that needs to be taken there for a, seat, for a league that hasn't even started yet. And then finally, the NBA is having talks about you know possibly getting it getting uh, their season back going in time for playoffs. But they're talking about maybe doing a bubble city type thing uh, where teams play in a quarantined area. Now, with all of these sports on standstill, all the seasons, there's no games, which means that there's no revenue coming in. These major sports leagues, the NHL, the NBA, the MLB, they bring in millions of dollars in just a couple of days, pretty much, in just a couple of games. So how has this um, affected sports world uh, on a money uh, standpoint? Well, the owners, they're starting to get fed up with it. You know, they're not getting money in. And lots of them are dishing out money to part-time employees who don't have this time to be working. So they really want to turn it around. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban was actually the one who uh, suggested possibly doing this bubble, um, you know, quarantine NBA season. So, you know, he's one that's looking to turn it around. But as well, you mentioned it, the TV deals. That's where most of these leagues bring in their income. And it's not just the four leagues. Uh, that we're seeing affected by this. It's the Olympics as well. That's one of the most televised events uh, that's being postponed until next year. As well, different ones throughout the MLB. There was uh, the Chicago Cubs were going to play the St. Louis Cardinals in London. That's been taken away. So teams and leagues are really starting to feel this blow. Well, hopefully things will start turning around very soon because it's not just players and uh, coaches who are getting antsy. It's definitely sports fans who don't have much to watch these days. Uh, they're really scratching that surface for any bit of sports programming. So hopefully in the next couple of months or even the next couple of weeks, things start to seem like we're on a bit of the, uh, the horizon is uh, in sight. So thanks so much for your input, Evan. It's always uh, very appreciated. Thanks, Abby.